this video we're gonna talk about the cradles of early science. We're gonna we're going to discuss here the development development of science in Asia, Mesoamerica and Africa. And it's about or it explain how this country is used in science in their everyday living. And also how they use science to help them in everyday task. Okay, so that's it. The cradles of civilization is the time referring to a location which according to the current archaeological data, civilization is understood to have emerged. Current thinking is that there was no single cradles but several civilizations that developed independently with the fertile, recent Mesopotamian and Egypt understood to be the earliest. History of the ideas the concept of cradles of civilization in the subject of much debate, the figurative, use the cradles to mean the place of origin in which anything is nature of shelters in each early stage. It's traced by the UID to Spencer 1590s. Rise civilization, the earliest signs of a process leading to sedentary culture can be seen in the Levant to as early as 12,000 BCE, when the Nepopian Nef culture became sedentary. It evolved into an agricultural society by 10,000 BCE. The importance of water to safeguard an abundant and stable food supply, due to favorable condition for hunting, fishing and gathering resources, including cereals, provided an initial wide spectrum economy that triggered the creation of permanent villages. Mesopotamia around 15,000 BCE, the first for the development of the culture that belonging to the places where the water is take. A, the P, P, N, A, and the pre father than Nortitic. B, 7,600 to 6,000 B.C. A, a freight in the fertile crescent in the for the three spread eastward and westward. Single or multiple cradles. Current scholarship generally identify six sites where civilization emerged. Independently, Mesopotamia, the Nile River, the Endos River, the Yano River, the Central Andes, and Mesoamerica. In this valley, one of the earliest Neolithic sites in South Asia is Verana along the ancient Saraswati River Valley system in the present day states of Haryana in India, dating to around 7,600 BC. Other early sites includes Lahura Diwa in the Middle Ganj region and Jusi near the confluence of Ganj and Yamuna rivers, both dating around 7,000 BC. Ma'am, this paper is black on, uh, on your subject, science. Map the six cradles of civilization. If you look at the time when humans first decided to give you a dirt nomadic hunter, hunter gathered lifestyle in favor of city. Down at the one place six distinct cradles of civilization can barely identify in Egypt, Mesopotamia, present day Iraq and Iran. The Indus Valley, present day Pakistan and Afghanistan, China, Mexico and Peru. And also, ma'am, this is my last and final topic. Hey, good morning, everyone. This is my blog, Cradle of Civilization. Cradle of Civilization is a location where current thinking is that there was no single cradle but several civilization to or that developed independent and dependently with the fertile present ancient Egypt. Mesopotamia, ancient India, and ancient China understood to be the earliest to extend to which there was significant influence between the early civilization of the Near East and those of East Asia, Far East.
is deputed scholars mainly in modern North Central Coastal Region of Peru. Emerge independently from those is Euro Asia. That's our thing. Regions where our very first settles were built, the expanses with harvesting of crops and raising the livestock first stock place. The areas where the first innovations in technology were made and the, the place where language was developed and complex social order come into being. Hi guys! I'm here for giving some short information about Chinese. Did you know that Chinese millet agriculture is dated to around 7,000 BCE with the earliest evidence of cultivated rice found at Chengtu Shan near the Yangtze River, dated about 6,500 BCE. Oh, by the way, BCE, BCE is the meaning before Common Era. And Chengdu Shan may also be the site of the first walled city in China. This Neolithic revolution gave rise to the Jiao culture about 7,000 to 5,800 BCE. But some scholars have suggested that Jiao symbols are the earliest form of proto writing in China in about 6,600 BCE. So that's it. Thank you for watching. Egyptian civilization begins during the second phase of the Nagda culture, known as the Jerusalem period, around 3,500 BC and the Colossus with the unification of Upper and Lower Egypt around 3,150 BC. The Jerusalem culture coincided with a significant drought, rainfall, and farming produced the vast majority of food. With increased food supplies, the populace adopted a much more sedentary lifestyle, and the larger settlements grew to city of about 5,000 residents. It was in this time that the city dwellers started using mud drake to build their cities, and the use of the art and side walls for decorative decorative effect became popular copper instead of stone was increasingly used to make tools and weapons